This is the scammers building here in the United States. We've been investigating who these scammers are and how they're using United States systems to steal from us. Scammers need a system to launder stolen money in order to get it to India. They'll get the victim to send the stolen money in a package to someone in the US. And from there, they'll take that money and send it back to the scammers for a cut. But this process involves trust and secrecy. The scammers rely on these money mules to not only send the right amount of money, but more importantly, send it privately without being caught but they have to find someone who's willing to do that. This building provides virtual offices that bypass the whole process. The scammers can make a business within the US and then use the mailing services from that building in order to get the money sent directly to them. It looks way more legit and the scammers get their money without any hassle. So I'm gonna expose everything that I know about this building, the process that they go through and show you the call with the scumbag that led to this investigation. Let's get into it. Thank you for calling. My name is Steve. How can I help you today? So this is your typical refund scam, and I begin by trolling these guys right off the bat. Hi, Steve. Is Brian still in? I'm sorry, my cell phone just died. You're speaking with Brian? Oh, hi, Brian. Uh, this is Grace. No, my name is Steve. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I have some type of geek squad that I did not make uh -huh. that purchase. It says it's $419. In order to cancel that subscription, we need to assign a support team technician. Is that Brian that's going to help me or? I'll be the one who's going to help you, ma'am. Can you just open a new browser, whichever you use, like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge? Okay. Yeah. It Firefox. says, um, it says recycle bin RH study guide anydex exe. Can you open anydex exe? Uh, yes. As soon as they try to get connected with you, there will be a big pop up coming up on your computer screen. Okay, thank you, Brian. My name is Steve, ma'am. Now, when they connect to my computer, I'm going to try to reverse the connection back. So, what do Can I you click just click on? on request elevation, which is in green color? Yeah, I did that. All right, miss, I just got the response from my support team. They're trying to get connected with you. They should okay. be connected with you any moment within the next 30 to 45 seconds. We tried to reverse connections onto their computer, so they might be a little sus right now. But obviously here I was unsuccessful, so the next best thing is to get a Money Mule address. With that address, we can give it to our connections where then we can actually arrest bad guys that are collecting these packages, just like in one of our latest videos, or we can find and intercept additional packages that other victims have sent to the same location and then give victims their money back. So what you can do, you can just hang up this line and answer the next call. He's calling you right back. They transfer me and then we go through the usual process. This is Christian Gray, the senior supervisor from the banking team, the accounting team. I do believe you're expecting more from me. Your name is Christian Gray? It's Christian J. Smith, ma'am. Oh, I thought you said Christian Gray, like the guy from, uh, what was that movie? No, 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 no. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Gray. Yeah, I no, thought no, you no, said no. Christian I Gray. Gray. I was about to say, can you send me a picture? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Christian Gray, man. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I hope I was. After the scammer's connected, he's going to send me the refund form, and then I'm going to put a bunch of information into a secure server, which is pretty much the command prompt. I'm giving you the cancellation form, all right? All right. I believe you can see the black page now. It's a black portal on the left-hand side of your screen. Correct. So whatever you type in, in there, make sure you type it in correct. Your first name, your last name, two dots, and then 100, 100.00. Okay? But oops, there's a mistake. The scammer did it, by the way. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. That's not right. They're going to go in and edit the HTML of my bank account and then make it look as if I've transferred a crazy amount of money into my bank to make it look as if you've received a bunch of money that you now have to send back. There are too many zeros in there. Let's check out with your bank first of all, ma'am. How much have you received? I see a $100,000 transfer. Oh, my God. Only money well, how, how could that be? How could that be? I saw the zeros going in there, ma'am. There were too many zeros. Now they'll do this in the form of uh, wire transfers, gift cards, Bitcoin. But here they wanted me to get the cash out, put it into a box and send it to a random address in the US. And here's where it gets really, really weird. <sighs> Take it easy, Chris. So what do I have to do here? I just spoke to my manager. He told me to move the money out of your account as soon as possible. He has given me the account details. 
I'm going to give that account details to you. You would have to go to your bank and you would have to physically make a wire transfer from there, okay? So I believe you can see my information, account information in there. Yes. He gave me a bank account that's in the US. And the crazy thing too is this, when I put this address in, this is crazy. There's a literal article that says another scam recorded from business related to blank registered agent. Here's one thing I want to share with everybody before we get started. Not every business tied to this address or this address is a scam. Scammers are slipping through the cracks. They're using our systems in a very smart way to steal money from people. Now, with all that being said, we have two leads and we're going to start with the address. Now, one of the first things that I do when I get a money mule address is I just go straight to Google to see if anything interesting pops up. And here, something really interesting came up. I actually got an article where people were complaining about scams. And one specifically was an Amazon scam via a company called Alex Mart LLC. But then there were other scams like people downloading what they thought was a free app only to find out they were being charged without any consent or notice by the LLC. And it was all pointing back to this address. But where does this address link to? The building is named the Wyoming Corporate Office. And just like I said earlier, there are a lot of reviews saying that they're attached to really sketchy businesses. Not everyone, but there are some, again, that are slipping through the cracks. But by far, my favorite review is this one. Courtesy review. This company leases their building slash address to those willing to pay for a valid U.S. address. This allows foreign, example Chinese, companies to appear to have valid offices in the U.S. when in fact they do not. I don't believe random one-star reviews, when you haven't done business with us, is a, quote, courtesy, as you've deemed it. I'm also sorry if you're a racist and don't like Chinese people. The way corporations and LLCs work is you have to have a corporate office. Also, based off of a lot of the reviews through the Better Business Bureau and things like that, this address or virtual address is home to a lot of scammers. I didn't want to say anything while we were live streaming because everything was still under investigation, but upon further review, we looked up the address and it came back with Destiny Consultants LLC. Now, when you search for Destiny Consultants LLC, it comes up with a legitimate business. Now, the crazy thing is there's no phone numbers, nothing else or any other information attached to it. But there's a registrant called Registered Agents, Inc. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this registrant in this investigation. It's not uncommon to have somebody register an LLC for you for privacy reasons, but this seems to have a lot of different hops in it just to get to this one Money Mule LLC. So what are these scammers doing? Well, first off, they're using a legitimate registration company to create an LLC and hide behind that so they don't have to have their names there. From there, they're utilizing services specifically here at this Wyoming corporate office, such as mail forwarding. So let's say a package goes to this virtual address, then it can be forwarded by USPS or UPS immediately to a whole different location that nobody would even know about. Now, I want to make something very clear to you guys. Don't go and Google review bomb all these LLCs. There are legitimate registration companies that make LLCs to protect the privacy of the business owners. They do that every day. There's also legitimate companies that create virtual addresses for businesses. Now, the scammers have slipped through the cracks and they figured out a way to use these systems to launder money. That's why we're showing it to you guys. We're showing you all the information. We're also working with law enforcement and our connections to hopefully find the bad guys that are doing all this laundering so that they can be stopped and we can save more victims. Going and posting Google reviews is not going to do anything. I promise. Please don't do it for the love of everything pure and holy, okay? Now, the rest of the call doesn't really go anywhere because I got the information that I needed. I also end up getting caught and we just wrap things up. Yes, up. Go to nearest bank. I'm sorry? Going to nearest bank of America. Great. Yes. Your GPS is sounding exactly like you. And how does that work? That's what I was even thinking. Well, anyways, maybe you have a Tesla you told me, right? You have options in there, right? Yeah, I mean, I can change it to the male voice if I need to. You can? Okay, then change it to the male voice. In 700 feet, take a right. I I'm parked here. I'm just sitting. Uh, you can just go inside the bank, make the wire transfer. So I'm at the bank, and they're telling me that literally that bank account is tied to money laundering and scams. I saw the article. All right, Chris. Bye. Bye for now. Have a great life ahead. A great life ahead? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? It means you have been scammed. Now have a great life ahead. Well, how did I get scammed? Ha ha ha. Can you, can you, can you check your messages? Yeah. I have sent you your account information. 
Why don't you? She is why a, don't you speak to me like a man? Now. <laughs> oh, Grace. I guess you, you guess are what? done now. Bye. Why are you so afraid of me? We are not afraid of you. Yes, you you piece of. Sh oh, really? You piece of. Sh you you piece of. Sh you thinking. You seem like you are. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The amount of information that you can find just from one phone call is pretty crazy. I was embarrassed to find out that these scammers have slipped through the cracks and they're able to use our own LLCs and our systems against us like this to steal money from innocent people and launder it overseas. It is imperative that you take the initiative right now to educate your family members so they are not the next ones sending money to scammers. This has been Pro Scammer Payback, saying don't get scammed.